Are there any other game shows you sort of watch on TV and think I would nail that? Uh, I'm waiting for World's Strongest Man, but <laughs> <laughs> like emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> confidently state that if I get a nine-letter word today, England will win the World Cup. <laughs> uh, John, your nine-letter word. It's quite exciting. Well, uh, every year, of course, uh, well, every few years, we have a census in the country to count how many people are doing certain jobs, so you find out how many doctors there are in this country, and you count the farmers, so you can find out which is the most farmerous region. <laughs> <laughs> We're all familiar with the popular technological item, the iPad, and, and we all know that use of the iPad is iPadry. Uh, so... <laughs> sure, sure, that much is clear. If you were to head to the most farmerous region of this country, which <laughs> we all know is Somerset, you'd encounter Old MacDonald. And what does he use? Well, he uses an EIE -E iPad. <laughs> E I E Padre. E I E I Padre. Old MacDonald had an iPad. E I E I Padre. Okay, John, did you get it? No. <laughs> Someone sounds a little bit grumpy about not getting it. It's fine, mate. Not bothered. Don't give a shit. It's only a game, isn't it? <laughs> John, if, if I'm not bothering you, what's your. Uh, pimpled. Wow. Pimpled. <laughs> The pimpled boy was forced to masturbate. As <laughs> <laughs> girls did not find him attractive. OK, so last time you had Josh with you, John, you lost. He's blaming you. What, what, what are you going to change this evening? Nothing. Don't remember it. Didn't happen. <laughs> Don't remember defeat. Losers remember defeat. I remember the victories. <laughs> like, uh... Doesn't matter. Today's a new day. <laughs> And what's pissed me off is it's festival season and I'm tired of people wandering around who've been to festivals who think they've got a personality just because they've seen something in a field that is usually indoors. So, <laughs> what I don't like about festivals is the outside, the things that are happening and other people. <laughs> I just got over my uh, football fever recently and I uh, went back out into the park and only come down with tennis fever, didn't I? <laughs> Dose, mate. I'm all about the basketball. Oh, second serve. All about the tennis. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be trying to get lots of tennis words this evening? Yeah. All the long words. Set. Ball. <laughs> I'll be getting some pretty high scores today, Jimmy. <laughs> Do you know, it's been a year now since a Brit won Wimbledon. Pathetic. <laughs> John, earlier this year, you were voted the Sun's kookiest crush. Yes. Uh, I've been in a few of those polls, and the, the word is different each year. It's like nerd crush, geek crush, crush I'd rather kill myself than admit to in public. <laughs> kooky is actually the one I hate the most, cos kooky is how you describe people who think a hat is the same as a personality. <laughs> I've always thought of you as kooky. Yeah, kooky John. Kooky John. <laughs> you you shout at you. Kooky John! <laughs> Before we begin, I need my pen. Um, can you bring my pens, please? <laughs> Launder. Launder. Oh, there's no fucking you in there, is there? <laughs> oh, look, look at him, he's enraged. Oh, no. <laughs> Kathy, if you had to describe your opponents this evening in three words, what, what would you choose? Grey. <laughs> Beardy and kooky. <laughs> Graham Beardy doesn't mind, but kooky's livid. Yeah. <laughs> I think I was beardy and kooky, was I? Or was I just kooky? You got a little bit of grey at the top there. What the f Just a little bit. <laughs> John is dedicated to his girlfriend. She's a lovely bubbly girl whose parents describe her as missing. <laughs> John hates tech speak. The abbreviated spelling and poor grammar infuriate him. And if John were to ever receive a text message, I imagine he'd be livid. <laughs> I do get text messages from Papa John's Pizza Hut and my bank. <laughs> <laughs> the joke's on you, Jimmy, cos it's two for Tuesday. <laughs> Our countdown captains couldn't be more different. While Sean Locke loves to let his hair down, John is famous for letting his family down. <laughs> Is it's massively harsh and just made up. <laughs> <laughs>
if this is the start of a new series, I assume the next episode you're just going to say, John's a dick. <laughs> and that's according to his mum. <laughs> Can I... I'll write that down. That'll be very good for the next one. <laughs> Uh, fun fact for you, on Mumsnet, there's a discussion forum at the moment called Getting the Horn Over John Richardson. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you feel about that milf action? <laughs> it's nice to know that whilst I may be letting my mum down, I'm giving pleasure to other mothers. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got this image of these women neglecting their children. They're running round, they're starving hungry, they're just going, I really love John. <laughs> Mum's looking for a different thing, isn't she, shall we say? I don't know. See, I'm a mom and I'm a single woman. And I feel like maybe <laughs> So how do you feel when you look at when you look at John, do you do you think, oh wow, that's yeah, break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar, or do you think <laughs> do you think no thank you very much? I don't think that, and I think that's good news for John. You are really funny, we love that. And you seem like you'd be really grateful, but I know that's not true. <laughs> Favorite musical is, you all know this. Yep. Say it. Aspects of Love. Phantom of the Opera. Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a story that speaks to me because it's about a man who isn't attractive on the outside, but he has a gift, and he is in love with a woman, and then by the end of the musical, he kills a load of people and then escapes. <laughs> It says here you keep ten pounds and ten euros on you at all times in case of emergencies. Why? Well, I used to keep a condom in my wallet. <laughs> and then one day I bought a new wallet and I transferred the condom across and I realised it was the same condom I'd transferred from the previous wallet. <laughs> and I realised that if I could erode leather quicker than I could have sex... <laughs> it was more likely I would wake up in Europe and not know how I got there and need ten euros than that I would instantly need to shag someone. <laughs> and I would hope if they'd agreed that they would be willing to wait the two-minute trip to the shop or the toilet. <laughs> Whereas if you're in Europe and you haven't got ten euro, oh, here he comes. Meet me after the show. <laughs> <laughs> John's teammate, David Baddiel! Hello. <laughs> David suffers from insomnia. Here's a tip, David. Try talking to John after the show for five minutes. That will sort you right out. <laughs> Two. You're supposed to say something about him and his background and he stuff. He was. He was saying that I had insomnia. That's hardly a slam, is it? <laughs> a bit annoyed, Jimmy, to be here this week, actually, cos tonight's supposed to be my hen night, cos I'm getting married. <laughs> stag, stag night, I think, is what you mean to say. <laughs> Come again. Well, you just said it was your hen night tonight. Yes. Stag night. <laughs> <laughs> With a right laugh. I emailed all my friends. <laughs> all working, would you believe? <laughs> all working, all of them. So I've been out on my own. <laughs> Do you get invited on a lot of stag twos? Yeah. <laughs> I've been on a few. I tend to nip back early. <laughs> you have to share rooms on stag do, so I find if I get back early, I can have the key changed and then I get a good night's sleep. <laughs> I don't get invited on a lot of stag do's, Jimmy. <laughs> is that Chris Akabusi? Yeah, there's a cardboard cut out of Chris Akabusi, life size. <laughs> um, Chris is uh, a bit of a hero of mine, and I thought I'd bring him along this evening to uh, to give us good luck and and sort of GS on a bit. Am I right in thinking that he's he spells his Chris K R I S? K R I S. Yeah. Not having it. <laughs> <laughs> Very bad heebie jeebies around people who can't spell their own name. <laughs> John without a H. <laughs> John without a... <laughs> uh, John, don't move a muscle, but the pen... these things. <laughs> okay, so, anyway. <laughs> Catherine is Canadian and Canada is famous for its cold winters. In fact, the only place that's been colder over the last 30 years is the other side of John's bed. <laughs> <laughs> now, John, what, what else can you do? I mean, you're very good at countdown. What else can you do in 30 seconds? <laughs> Not that, actually. <laughs> 
I reckon I could count to 100 in 30 seconds. Right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not much of a challenge, but let's... <laughs> I mean, we've got plenty of time, why not? Really? This is going to happen? <laughs> why would we do? I don't know if you've just switched over from the Formula One. <laughs> <laughs> Strap in, because this is wild. <laughs> Can I just check in with our maths expert, Rachel? Are their numbers up to 100? Yeah. OK, good. <laughs> uh, you ready, John? Your time starts now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 78, 77, 76, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. <laughs> really fucking embarrassed about how serious you guys are. I really wanted that in a way that I hate about myself. <laughs> when the show ends, I'm going to try that again upstairs. <laughs> that is the pathetic truth that is my existence. If you're watching at home and you're lonely, <laughs> maybe you could count to 130 seconds. <laughs>